Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and I'm coming to you live from round four of day 1A of the Gen Con North American Championships. My co-host for this round is... Hello, everyone. It is Ryan Moisture Farmer. What is up, people? Yeah. Scree? Scree? Maybe? To uh, TM? T <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So, yeah, I'm super excited for this. We're going to get some colors set uh, for for these Kirax fighters. I remember he, he very specifically asked to make sure that C yes. was number pink. That's right. He's the hero. That's number right. Number pink. He knew exactly what was, you know, he, he understood the magic. And then we had green. Everyone knows that number pink is the hero. Correct. I was working. I was trying to create a T-shirt design for Number Pink, and I just kept like scrapping it because it was never good enough. Just never, never good enough. Hey, Dion, I got a quick question for you before we get this game started. Um, if you were to choose between plasma or proton torpedoes, which which ones <laughs> would you pick? Or would you just, or on a three die shift, is it better just to not have a, not have a plasma torpedoes? Is that? <laughs> no comment. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Don't, don't let me bait you, Dio. No, don't out. let I'm me out. bait you. I'm out. No. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> Twitch chat, that's your fault for asking for that. Yep. Um, this is a really interesting matchup here between Mike and Jerry. Dion, you mind if I break it down a little bit as Hit we started? It. What is Mike playing? So Mike's got Torkoal Mux with Moldy Crow. Mux is the hawk who can reduce the initiative of another ship down to zero at the start of engagement. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain Seavor, a little jerk, setting <laughs> it's a passing out jam tokens. Yep. And uh, three cartel marauders naked. And um, I think people are going to start realizing how much value these cartel marauders are post points change. They are a nine, the six health three die gun that really with mucks on on the table can dish out quite a bit of pain there's a lot of firepower in this squad um it's you know people have been saying scum hasn't you know may not be the best faction but yep. they there is there are things there to look for for savvy players this guy's three and oh both three and guys. three and oh both of them mm -hmm. crazy um, and then on the right, we got Jerry uh, Naraki here with Wedge, tried and true with Proton Torps, R3 Astro, Luke with Proton Torps, R3 Astro, and Leia with the Pivot Wing. And they're, they look as though, I'm not sure yet, mm -hmm. there may be an honorable joust happening. It's, it's, who's wrong? Who's wrong? I think, well, Torko Mux says that Jerry's wrong. Well, Tor Tor what, what's Mux's range? Is that zero to it's three? zero to three. Yeah, zero to three. So... As long as he does, as yeah. long as Mike range controls correctly, he's gonna he's gonna be able to wipe a ship off the board most likely. But that's the thing, right? I'm curious about if Mike actually does decide to joust here because obviously with R3 he can get two torps off, right? He could torp one and then K turn next round still torp. Mm -hmm. So I'm concerned, however, with Sevor moving in here as well, right? Like, you can see that Seavor could very possibly end up splitting these bullseyes there. Yep. And because of that, he'll be able to get those jams off. Yeah. I mean, because what the plan is, you make somebody a zero. Yes. You, you jam them and make oh, sure they don't You jam off any. their lock, and yep. then you wreck them. Yeah. Well, you could jam off their focus, but in this case, you could easily jam off a lock so yeah. that they don't I, get those torps off. I think... I think though, be because you are, you're going to end up taking at least one torp anyway, yeah. you go ahead and just get rid of the focus... I guess you don't have a choice in that, do you? Never mind. They well, might have the f they might have the target no, already. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, so here's my thought here as well. For Jerry, I'm trying to get into Jerry's head on why he could be jousting in this situation because he's boosting here. Uh, he, he's trying to trying to play the range game. Um, it's curious because mathematically, it's pretty unlikely if they fire at Wedge, if all those ships get five shots at Wedge, that he survives there. Mm -hmm. That's three three-die focus shots, four four-die focus shots, and I think you have the Seavor shot as well. I think maybe the, maybe the idea here is if, if Jerry does a one forward and he's right. anticipating Mike going one forward, that would most likely leave Torkoal Mux out of range. Yeah, but Mux won't do a one forward here. He'll he'll try to guarantee oh, it by I, going faster. I, I know right? that. I'm just trying to get in Jerry's I feel head. I feel you. I feel I'm you, to dog. Get in head. Now, the other thing here is with R3 Astro, if he gets jammed by Seavor and he says the lock, Jerry gets to choose which lock right. to ditch. So he can still shoot whoever he wants. Uh, uh, Torkoal's not going to be 
as, um, Torkoal won't eliminate the possibility of the torpedo shots. Right. All right, the we chat got says I'm wrong on that. Maybe I'm wrong. Specifically Chewbacca. Oh, does the jammer choose everything? I thought the jammer chooses the token and the type. I mean, if you can get rid of the focus, then that's that's the that's the call. Well, the chat says I'm wrong. Well, I guess I'm wrong. All right. I I issue a redaction on that. <laughs> I guess the jammer chooses it all. all Regardless, right. though, if he, you know, locks two, he'll still be able to fire at someone. Yeah. He can't get rid of both locks. Exactly. So With that point still stands, chat. Ha. <laughs> Which that's why I'm I'm thinking the focus is probably the better, the better call there. Good. Yeah. They could. Yeah. They could jam off that focus, right? On on Luke, it wouldn't matter as much, but for Wedge. I'm, yeah, yeah, that would be big. So we got that one bank by the U wing getting into that joust as well. Got every available gun. And then obviously with Leia, those K turns can be white on the for the follow up. That's why this squad has a lot of you know very powerful potential jousting wise. Just they come at you hard. Here we go, getting in it. Getting in, and that is a four straight. I think Mike is just saying, I'm not even going to let you torp one of my guys. No. He's like, I, I, I can get four dice too. Now, I don't know a lot about Jerry here. Um, I don't know a lot about either of um, these players. I know that I, I've heard Mike Doyle's pretty solid. Yeah. Um, this is a situation where not a lot of players practice Rule of 11 much anymore. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that Jerry has not practiced Rule of 11. Uh, he very well could do all kinds of things right now. But. Um, Straight up jousting, like counting out, that sort of thing, yep. doesn't happen as much anymore. Just end to end. That's a that's kind of a relic of the past. Mm -hmm. So, I, when players end up in these kinds of rare situations, it can be tough to be like, "Wow, I'm a little rusty on this count one, two, right." And, and, and then we talked about a little bit earlier of the Kirax fighters kind of being being undervalued as a whole in the community, right? People are like, "Oh, Kirax." That thing's just going to die. Well, this is where the Kiraks want to be. They want to be. Oh, look at that. We actually saw the range. That is most definitely yeah. in range of everybody, no matter yeah. what those x Yeah, no matter do. what Jerry's doing, muck, he, he's getting mucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I think that what's going to be tough here is that these Kyrax fighters want to be close because they're amazing knife fighters. Um, and the because they have those one hard turns. Yep. And that means that allows them to kind of, once they're in it, to kind of move around a lot easier than some of these other ships. They don't have that one forward, yeah. but I don't think Mike really cares about that at this current moment. Nope. Also looks like Seavor may have potentially. Can we get that overhead cam? Uh, actually, the overhead cam is off. Can we get that overhead cam? We can't. We can't. You say we can't get that overhead cam? <laughs> we cannot. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to switch to the overhead cam. <laughs> and according to the overhead cam here. Pre present. It's just going to go with black screen. Yeah. So according to that overhead cam, <laughs> um, I think Seavor is out. Oh, he just barrel rolled. Okay. He's, he wants to guarantee that he's not in the bullseye. Yeah, I think so. I think I think so. He knows better. I think you're right. He wants to make sure that he won't be in the bullseye of whatever. It might be Luke. Of, of whoever is yeah. going to stay there. What is what is this move? Oh, my goodness. It's a one forward. An honorable joust. Honorable joust. Someone's getting mugged. Let's, like, let's, let's just get some crits in the chat, please. Ooh. This is going to be crazy. Hooey. All right, let's, we're going to have to listen listen in for us so that we know who's shooting who when, when the time comes. Yeah, I'm... I'm just trying to figure out what Jerry's thought is on this. Um, on this, he, I mean, I f it almost feels like he's won all his games just by straight jousting because he's been able to straight joust, yeah. like out joust all of his opponents, right? I yeah. don't know if that's true. This is all speculation, purely speculation. Well, if if Mike gets the combo of your yeah. initiative zero, yes. you don't have a focus, yes. and here's five shots at you, people yeah. are losing ships early and. A lot of times, people get on tilt yeah. when you lose a ship that early. You could lose Luke right here. Yep. And I, honestly, that's uh, if all three of those Kyraxes have a shot at Luke, and I'm not entirely sure if they do, uh, That's that would be my target. i just wipe him off the board. Yep. Now, again, I don't know if that is true. Um, if it's not, then Wedge is your target. You, you yeah, it, looks like it's w it looks like Wedge. I think Yellow might not have Luke. Yeah. Oh, he's going, yep, going after Wedge. Wedge is zero. Zeroed. 
Well, I think the, the other, other decision there is that Wedge could potentially yep. wipe somebody with That's his ability. True. That's fair. So we're getting a torp from Luke, I think. Mm -hmm. That's out of the cup. So I think Luke was putting that into Seavor. Uh, oh, no. That's into one of the Kirax. No. I would have fired at Seavor personally. Uh, I'm trying uh, to wipe him before mm, that Two jam. crits coming in. Do you, s you spend it? Yeah. Yeah, totally. So he's going to be taking three. Hit, crit, crit. Wait, wait. I thought that was two of oh, Sorry, two, two crits. Excuse me. So, so shield, shield and one crit. Yep. Direct. Direct hit. Yeah. That's fine, though. That's what those bodies are there for. Mm -hmm. Those Kyraxes are going to take crits. Jerry Smart going after number pink first, by the way. <laughs> he knows. So and Captain Seavor shoots first. He's just going to do a not. I mean, this, this could do damage here, too. Yeah. It's two. Yeah. We could see Dead Wedge without ever being able to fire. How sad is that? Torkoal Mux does some nasty uh, things. Yeah. So uses his ability. Yeah. Focus Drop gone. Brutal. It's naked dice. Not Ooh. The double crit. Crit, crit. Where are those crits? Show me them crits. All right, so he's going to lose one shield. One. Yep. I mean, you weren't even anticipating taking getting damage on that one. That's, that's extra. Yeah, that's a bonus. Yeah, you get a range one from yellow. I don't know why. I don't know if I... Would have done that. I may have saved yellow for. Oh no no no! This is smart because then you can give shots on Luke after. That's two. Two more. Two more. Into the hole. Three more for Wedge. That's half on Wedge. Kind of surprised that Torkel didn't fire first though, because he's all the way on the edge. Yeah. Because he is also an initiative too. But hey, Mike's three and zero. Oh. Let's, let's let let him do his well, thing. You do you, boo boo. This is maybe two. Yeah, range two. Jerry needs some natties here. One. One. He's down the two hole. Yeah. I think you fire with Mux next. Yeah. That'll be two. Should be three dice because of the moldy crow. Yeah. He has a lock. Double mod. It's pretty good, eh? Hey, there you go. Hit, hit, crit. Needs those natties. Out the box, not sure. He's going to take one crit. He was, those Ooh. were natties. All right. So he's still alive. And then number pink, the glory Finishes shot. Finishes it right there. Oh, maybe, maybe. He's looking, he's natties again. No, only one. That's dead wedge. Punished by the dice box. Wow. <laughs> he's done. Doesn't yeah. get to fire. Yeah. Well, Mike did exactly what he was going to exactly, execute there. He's no like, doubt. I need to come in and take a ship off the board. Yeah. Wait, is he still left? Uh, initiative. Oh, yeah, before he gets removed, the twos yeah. go. Yeah. So. so this is one of those situations where it actually doesn't matter, but it's, yeah, it's a good going practice. by the protocol. Yeah. I'll go by your protocol. <laughs> Range three, three dice. Hit crit. Oh, should be in the box. Hit, hit, double blank. So shield and hull onto Onion. yellow, yellow marauder. Blink, blunk. There goes wedge. End of round. Wow, what a rough opening engage for Half Jerry. a cure axe for wedge. That a good trade? Yeah. <laughs> good oh, trade for Mike. I right? mean, two, two. Curexes are halved, I no, think, right? Only 19 points. Well, I mm -hmm. thought, uh, oh, no, he didn't get, uh, he needs another one on that Marauder. Yeah. Wait, I thought he did two damage on yellow. Yeah, shield and a, and a hole. Right, because they have five hole, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's correct. That's math. I know how to do that. <laughs> are we sure? Yeah, this is a really good, uh, maybe you should save this game for the future on talking about jousting. Yeah, like, absolutely. Uh, I think people forget. They just forget. Remember when you when two players line up for a joust, so one of them's wrong. One of them's wrong. 
Or maybe both of them are wrong, but someone's more wrong. Yeah, someone's more wrong. And, and then the dice speak. And yeah, and Mike just has a superior jousting squad here. Um, I think like Jerry should have been flanking with these guys for sure. Yeah, when – and the thing is that Jerry chose, he chose to set up joust, that way. Yeah. Mike set up here. Yeah. And then he, he plopped down his guys yeah. here. And I think the archetype that Jerry has yeah. is an alpha strike Exactly, spawn. yeah. And but, the, the questions I wonder is, like, I wonder if Jerry knew Torquil – did he read Torquil Monk's ability? That's the one, perhaps, that, yes. That is something that people haven't been playing that one. People forget about Mux. And when, when – Wait, the, that's one to three? Like, yeah. <laughs> and when the Hawk was popular in the beginning of second yeah. edition, it wasn't Mux that was being played. It was Paylob. That's right. You might have forgotten. You might have thought that it was Paylob, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think that I might – you have this lane here, right? So I think I may have – taken Luke up this way and then Wedge up this way as well, a little slower, and then had that U-Wing come in this way and trail behind. And then if they hard, hard turn and come this way, you can duck out and go in here like this. If they come in through this lane, you wanted to try and get the engagement to happen in the rocks. In, in yep. the rocks. Now, that's obviously, the that's the... I need to get a, a shirt that says, just pull them through the rocks because <laughs> that's what a lot, of the, a lot of us podcasters say. Yep. Um, all the time. However, that's not necessarily wrong. No. You don't, you, this is what happens in open space. You need to gum up that formation. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this is a nasty squad. When, when you let a better jousting squad do exa exactly what he's what he's built to do, right? He he got the, this is the ideal engagement. This is what he wanted, right? Yep. And, and he killed it. He got the exact. Literally killed. <laughs> yeah, he, he got exactly what he was looking for. So, um, let's talk about various wind conditions yep um so like jerry still has a really powerful ship on the board luke skywalker extremely defensive um and has leia on the board so what i what i'd like to see here you know he's getting aggressive with the u-wing you have to to make sure you get things You're, something off the board things are gonna get muxed again here right yeah so leia got pop pop popped he yeah he looks like he used leia in this round um, There's a coordinate. He's going to try to get that K turn in there. Yeah. Which he will because the, the unless he blocks with Sevor, which would right. be next level. So it's not entirely crazy to think that Luke could maybe kill one of these uh, Kiraxes for uh, this round. So if Luke kills one of these Kiraxes, actually that the U wing has a pretty solid chance of surviving mm -hmm. this follow-up volley absolutely um because paylob will be single modded um and it'll only be three shots coming in on that thing so the math is pretty good there i don't know it exactly uh, i should pull up a i need like a thing with just the dice calculator on it um however dice calculator app yeah looks like we got a bump here by green that means you kill a kyrax and then the U-Wing would probably deal a lot more damage on yellow because that's another range one shot there. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, it's unmodded because he coordinated Luke. Mm -hmm. But but um, you could have one dead Kyrax and then one uh, Kyrax on you know very loose footing. And then they need to K-turn, and Luke can be at range three. Luke is a really, really great piece. So I don't think that we should count the game 100% no, won not at all. by Mike yet. But they need um, – actually, the Hawk stop would have been strong <laughs> if they had decided that. Um, but Jerry needs to play lights out to pull himself out of the hole that he's gotten in, that he's in right now. Yep. The challenge here uh, coming up for Mike Doyle is getting turned around, right? Yeah. So Jerry most likely is going to be doing that K-turn. Yeah, because he popped that, that Leia. Right. There's, there's no other reason not to do that. Right. Um, and after that, we'll see how Mike can get around the U-Wing, assuming that the U-Wing's still on the table. Right. Which, looking at this formation, once once again, um, he is going to be able to um, to do his combo again, sure. right? Mux. Yeah, but but uh, uh, Sea Warrior doesn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry played him. <laughs> Didn't. No, no tokens. No tokens. So they're just going to mark a green really fast. 4K from Luke here. Pretty good. I hope he remembered to uh, – uh, I hope his S-foils are open. I think they are. Um, I, there's no reason for them not to be. They – maybe? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I, I'm not entirely certain because somebody doesn't have oversized S foil tokens yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so picking up those dials, it is got the got the K turn and an action here coming from the white 4K. Luke pretending to be a defender for the turn. Should still have a target lock out there. Oh, he's going to go ahead target lock now. 5 and 5 has two force available. Uh, I'm going to call Big Brother on you, Ryan. My IP. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is going to be range one. Four dice going into number pink. That's a good roll. That's a real good roll. Woo-wee. Woof. Wow. Oh, man. He's got to spend that focus to survive. Yep. And so double crit coming through. Let's see if he lives. Let's go ahead and pull up the... It's into pink, right? Yeah, it's into pink. So he didn't kill him. Fuel leak, that'll do That's it. That's it. That'll it because of the second crit. Boom, boom, boom. So Jerry doing exactly what he had to do there, kill, taking out that ship. That's big. That's big for his uh, comeback potential. Luke Skywalker seeing Wedge... Die. I guess Wedge really didn't do any good back there. No, I'm telling you. He didn't. <laughs> Hero of the <laughs> Sorry. Rebellion. Yeah. I got I to gotta leave. Yeah, uh, but, uh, things yeah, are getting I, bad. I'll leave in an explosion. <laughs> yeah, those are two really nasty, unlucky crits for Pink there. So two dice coming in for the Blue so, Squadron. So Pathfinder. The, oh, Natties. Natties. Did, did Mike use Torkoal Muck's ability on the U-Wing to try to... Initiative kill it? I don't know. Or did he just miss the trigger? I'm not certain. Because it's not just front arc, is it? I think it's just in arc for Torkoal. Yeah. I can double oh, you can double check. Yeah, he could have maybe used it on Luke. That may have been a missed opportunity. He could have zeroed Luke to let his... Right, let's just let yeah. his ships shoot. Yeah, Yeah, it's just firing arc. That's a missed I, I, opportunity I, I, yeah. there by, do, yeah. by Mike. If Luke's in the arc. We could be wrong. It's, it's hard to tell there. The angle Truth. could have been it out. So, let's not... Pretend. Let's not give Mike the. Let's give Mike the benefit of the doubt yeah. that he was out. Ewing rolling pretty good here. Down on shields. And then only one shot left, I think, though. Hit, hit, crit. Natty's, Natty's again. baby. Jerry pulling himself out with some dice rolls, taking a crit, let's, but let's see it. Damage engine. He don't care. He's got Leia. <laughs> <laughs> So four health on that U-Wing. And now it's going to take a real nice range one shot at either green or yellow. So yellow has four left and a focus, though. Maybe worth it. Oh, he's going after yellow. He's going after yellow. All right. Jerry pulling a Steve Gonzalez on those greens. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah, that's the crits, that's man. That, that's roll. what hurts. Let's see what he gets here on yellow. One evade, so hit crit. Takes two more on yellow. Wounded is the crit. For those who don't know, Wounded Pilot says, after you perform an action, you roll a die on a hit or a crit, take a stress. That guy be wounded. <laughs> I have my heart. Oh, ow. You know how, you know how he wounded him? Yep. He went into his comms and said his wife doesn't love him. <laughs> that's why he's a cartel marauder. Oh, alone. He's all alone. And that's how he wounded him. <laughs> wounded. Wo Every time you draw a wounded pilot, your opponent gets to insult you. <laughs> I agree. I'm in. And no, no, with no penalty points. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's take a look at this. I think, so Leia, he can't hard stop because he popped Leia and it's not up yet. And he's stressed. The the Ewing needs to do something here about that four those four Ks. However, mm -hmm. I think the Kyrax has moved first, right? Yeah, the Kyrax no, yeah they does have move first. player order. 
So green, I don't think one, two, we'll, sh we'll be able to 4K be uh, behind that U-Wing. No, not green. Not green, but yellow could. Luke's in a really good position now to pop another torp potentially into yellow. Yeah, I think you just won forward here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think you just won forward, focus up with that U-Wing. If you wanted to get cheeky, you could move in this direction to try and get out of the K-turn arc here mm -hmm. and then block Seavor, and then that guy's already going to be blocked here unless he does like a one hard. And then I don't know what Paylob does, honestly. I bet I think Paylob should probably just do like a one bank and just split. If he does that, make sure to get Luke split, in his arc. Split those arcs that way. And that's how you play X Wing. Oh, no two turn from uh, from the U Wing because damage engine. Right. Sorry, stressed. I meant I meant more like a bank, like a like a two like bank. Oh, over way. over there. Yeah, in that just move in that general direction. And before we go too far, I do want to say thank you so much to Curl Park. I meant Mux. God, not Paylob Mux. See, I bet I, I would have pulled see? a Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> pulled pulled the Jerry. A, oh, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I meant Jerry Russell. Right, exactly. That. Fun fact, Grasser wrecked me, punched me in a bad area yesterday. I'm sorry. And it hurt real bad. And why you got to do that, Grasser? Everyone, you need to witch hunt Grasser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Why would he do that to me? I don't condone. Those actions. Thank you. But we don't, you know what I do condone? Girl, going to curledpawcreatives.com. That's what I condone. And using coupon code GENCON19 for 15% off. I wonder if Knuckles would make a coupon code moisture. I wonder if you would do that for me. <laughs> sure. I, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. This is, this is a solid move. I guess... The U-Wing does move before the Kyraxes. Okay. So that means Jerry has the initiative. Yeah, so Jerry could do... Here come the K-turns. The K-turning. Oh, yeah, you actually could report Jerry and get him... Uh, or Grasser, excuse me. Get him kicked out of Gen Con for You're right. I could assault. Do I could do that. Yeah. I could. I don't think I should do that. <laughs> At the people want to know when I'm flying. Why should I give away my secrets of my Poe? Are, are you flying tomorrow? I am flying tomorrow. Don't I, give it away. I'm flying some Poe. That's what I'm flying. It's some Poe nonsense. Is your uh, your Poe card printed on paper or plastic? You know what it's printed on, baby. <laughs> There's only one Poe card that I use. That's right. It's the National Grand one that I bought. Sad. <laughs> no, it's yours. <laughs> I use all three. They're all stacked on top of each other. <laughs> Look at my power. All right, here's a 4K from yeah, Green as well. Double 4K. Is Payloff's ability zero to three? Well, let's take a look. We have we have the power here. Torkoal Mux's ability is uh, in the attack arc, in the firing arc. Just in the firing arc. So that arc. that is zero to three. Yeah, man, that's rough. Because even if he blocks Torkoal, I'm just not sure that U Wing's gonna get another round alive. Let's see. Is looks like he's out of looks like he's out of arc. No, it's a, the the arc is. No, I'm saying um, Torkoal out of the U wing's arc. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes. And I meant Torkoal, not Paylob. Whatever. From now for the rest of the game, if I hope oh, there's the Seavor K turn. I've come to jam. Luke can take on four ships, right? Um, um, I mean, for how long is the question? For well, one got, round, he, I think he could. We got 44 minutes. Hmm. I think Luke might be in Mr. Paylob's arc. I think so, too. And I think he's looking to lock. This is interesting. I think he wants to lock Paylob and Yellow. There's Yellow. He has one on Paylob already. Oh, cool. All right, so Michael remembering his uh, his ability. He's out. Still out. Oof. Blue squad. So th some shots are going to have to be wasted on that blue squadron. Luke, I think, is going to... Who's he going to torp? Who's he going to torp? 
I said pay up again. I know I did. I did it on purpose. <laughs> did it on pur- <laughs> Got him. Look how mad they're getting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jerry just asking for an update on the health. Yeah, I wonder if Paylob will be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop trolling the people. <laughs> All right, it's, it's uh, second torp shot here. Spend that lock probably. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Oh, brutal when you only get three. Shooting yellow. Okay. All right, so it was on, it was a torp. I thought it was range one. And those should be two crits there. Oh man. One crit. Let's see if it's a direct. Whole, Whole breach. breach. That's a blank crit. Blank crit. He fired at yellow. Didn't kill him. That's rough. One, There's a dice swinging back around. Range one from Seavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two. Oh, Nettie's Nettie's again. Baby. Oh my god. I think he found those two dice. He did. He found the two. He found the two. He found the two dice Steven had. The elder dice. The elder dice. Which two are they? With the five percent. Oh gosh. He found the elder dice too. Hit hit crit. One. Hit crit coming in on the U Wing. Loose stabilizer. So loose stabilizer says if you do a non-straight maneuver, you take a damage. I think they're going straight, Dion. Yeah. <laughs> Down to two hole. Let's see if the Kyraxes have anything to say about it. They might just wipe them off the board now. Yeah. You know what's unfortunate? What? When a one-hole dead or a two-hole <laughs> dead man switch or one-hole dead man switch Kyrax draws loose stabilizer and flies – a two bank into your one hole Kylo and kills you yeah. in a final round of hangar bay. Yeah. That's a real unfortunate thing that happens. That is. I don't know. Some sh- that happens that to happened some, to some, some scrub yesterday, some preventing him from going undefeated. That's right. Well, Ewing gets taken off the table, and yeah. Green has a shot. Going to go into Luke. Luke versus the world, man. Thank you, Flesh Hound, for subscribing again. That's five months in a row using your Prime. Thank you so much. And nothing. nothing. Three eyeballs. Lack of focus. They put on a good show. Sure do. So if you don't know about uh, Twitch Prime, if you have an Amazon Prime account. Hey, I have Amazon Prime. Yeah, and you haven't connected your Amazon account to Twitch, you actually are losing the opportunity to get access to our exclusive emotes. Mm -hmm. And in August, and this is like an August thing only, we're kind of testing subscribers for the uh, for Twitch Prime and regular subscribers have access to the archar the archives of the show immediately after. Wait, 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 Dion. Yeah. That's crazy. It is You're crazy. telling me that if I were a Twitch Prime subscriber, yes. I would have immediate access to those games and I could watch them on repeat. For for fourteen days. For fourteen days I could yes. watch them on repeat. Yes, correct. If I wanted to. If you wanted to. You know what else is crazy, Dion? What what else is crazy? I am a Twitch Prime subscriber. You are. And I get those emotes. You do. And you know what else I get? What else what do you get? I get access to you. To me. That's true. That's your that's voice true. every time. Yeah, I mean, I've slept in your bed. You have slept in my bed. <laughs> Only one person has ever slept in my bed aside from you. You? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so if you don't know how to connect your uh, Amazon Prime to Twitch, type exclamation point Prime in the chat. There, made, I made a video. It's about three minutes. Super easy to do. Step one, get free shipping from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Step two, get all these other perks you didn't realize come with free shipping yeah. on Amazon. <laughs> I know. It's crazy, man. Like... Wait, I have Amazon, I have this video, all this other stuff that I can do. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I just wanted free two day shipping. It's crazy. Yep, yeah. So I'm just double checking. It is on. 
There it is. All right, so here we go. Um, number green, who's the new number pink in our hearts. In our hearts. <laughs> green takes up the mantle when pink dies. <laughs> I love it. Trying to maybe go for a Luke block here. Jerry's got to make sure that he blocks the K-turn here, which it looks like he's about to do with Mr. Paylob. That's right. Or, sorry, Mike needs to make sure. Mr. Dude, Mr. Mux. With Mr. Mux. That's Mr. Mux to you. <laughs> well, I don't know why. I just consider the Hawk as Paylob. <laughs> Not anymore, man. This, man. this is second edition. I need to be fired. you got to fire me. <laughs> what am I even doing here? You're gut. Because you're, you're a I'm pretty done. face. Because you're done. <laughs> I, got, I have a face for uh, <laughs> podcasting for sure, buddy. <laughs> Well, that's that K-turn blocked by Mux. <laughs> mm, mm, Mux. Mux. I hope Luke did a one bank to the right. I don't know what Luke did, but I hope that's what he did. Actually, K-turn maybe wouldn't be the best for Luke here regardless, and I don't think it's blocked anyway. Let's count. One. That's not. Uh, let me try that again. Try again. Let's try again. One. Two, three, four. Now, those are four different length <laughs> lines that I just made. I don't think the K turn fits. <laughs> I don't think it does. <laughs> Man, that was a real scientific approach there. It's all right. Good job, Mux. All right, so he has uh, another focus, and oh. that's going to be a bump there. So one forward. Yeah, one forward bump. But who will he bump into, Green or Sevor? This is a this is rough. Luke's very defensive, but mm -hmm. still. think so did it fit no no that's on top of There's it no right way. yeah it's in the green bump screen so range one from Seabor, which i guess all things considered isn't that is it is better than having a range one from green true uh luke has been zeroed out That Sivor Mux combo is really nasty because yeah, man. Mux can ensure that he doesn't get shot at so Sivor can pop off locks on like ordnance. Spends a focus for three on the Luke there. It's range one. Natties, Natties again. Jerry trying his best. Like you said, he's doing a Steve Gonzalez impression, yeah. but is it enough? If, is it enough? He found the Steve Dice, that's for sure. Two from yellow. That's cock die. Only one? Okay. Okay. Again, the Jeez. Gonzalez dice. You be better uh, send those to Lawrence in. I should. <laughs> Lawrence, check these out. Uh, he's thinking about spending that focus on Paylob. He's going to spend it. Which is the correct call because... Yeah. Um, he's trying to... Don't know where his force tokens are. He's, he's using, using the them both. I think he's going to use them both, which is definitely the correct decision. Yep. No damage there. On Mux, not Paylob, whatever. Mux, Mux. <laughs> From now on, I will donate $5 <laughs> to every time I say the wrong Hawk name <laughs> okay. to, to the channel. Okay, sure. <laughs> now I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, Luke should fire at uh, yellow. They're triggered, man. They're so, they're, they're so dirty. They don't even know how many have been accidents and how many have been intentional. The secret is they've all been accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Three hits coming in. Jerry's doing his best to come back here. Net, he found them. Netties. <laughs> I think he might. I think he might have said, "I want to roll your dice." Yeah.
Takes one under yellow. Well, that, that'll do it, though, for him. The reason Mux was correct, by oh, the I way. I guess not. Sorry. What? We, had one, we were one off. He's at one now. That doesn't seem correct to me. That does let's, not let's seem. Let's look at the number of cards. We actually can't see them. They're on the left. Oh, he shot at Mux. Was it Mux? Looks like he shot at Mux. And only a one shield got taken off Mux. Oh, okay. Was it Mux? I don't know why he did that. I have... I... I don't know. I don't know. We, we got to just keep watching. I don't know. Follow your heart. I don't know. You got to take ships off the table. All right. Hmm. So we got about half hour left in the round. <laughs> that's a I, that's a a poor choice in my opinion. Oh, absolutely. I I, I really think he should have fired at yellow there, because really good chance. Now I could be eating my words if he kills. I mean, Mux nattied, right? Yeah, so, for sure. And he didn't have any focus, so he could have done a lot of damage. And he and also then, had the target lock, which yeah. maybe was the reason. It's like yeah. I had I had mods, yeah, so I wanted really to go there. Mod. Yeah, exactly. So I get that. I get that. However, um, however, man, I think that I still you take that ship, that blocker, you take it off the table. But I could be eating my words if in another round he manages to kill Mux. I think we had to take a shield off him too. I did. He has two shields? Yeah, two. Oh, right. Got now, it. I want to remind you guys that this today is day 1A. Tomorrow is day 1B. So people were asking if you were out of the tournament, Ryan. That's why you got to sit next to me. No, 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 no. People are saying, did Ryan scrub out already or yeah. is it day two? Yeah. They have to wait another day before I scrub out and join the commentating. <laughs> so. <laughs> I didn't scrub out. Yet. Yet. The almighty yet. <laughs> The good news is, I think, hmm, if I were Jerry, I think I would have bumped Paylob here. Okay. Self-bumped there before moving Paylob, because I think that still blocks Luke's K-turn here, mm -hmm. but he's obviously moving Paylob first. I, I would have maybe done some self-blocking there to keep yellow in that spot. He's going to focus there. Rotate that arc. Using the linked action. I said pay lob again. You did. Five bucks right no, there. No, it's uh, ten bucks. Oh, it's ten now. All right, let me nice. PayPal you. <laughs> no, we'll, just, we'll just make it one transaction so that your bank don't think that you really. Oh, that's a good you're, point. You're keep getting, keep uh, the tally. That's right. <laughs> keep that tally, chat. <laughs> they're, they're, they're saying 20. 20? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, that does, it's not every time I say Paylob. It's when I say it when I'm was supposed to say Mux. People. Right. <laughs> I can actually refer to Paylob the actual pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Got a K-turn from green. All right, guys. Sorry I'm a little quiet on the background. I'm working on something... Uh Dion's writing his memoirs over here. Correct. When I when I was a boy, a golden road, a memoirs of Dion Morales. A golden. That's actually really good. I know. I just came up with that. You know, I'll trade you that title for the the fifteen dollars you owe me. Done. All right. Transaction Wait. completed. Completed. Golden road, a memoir, <laughs> the memoirs of Dion Morales. <laughs> oh man. Amazing. I had PayPal open too. Did you see yeah, it? Oh, I saw oh, it. Oh. I was ready. Oh, I know. That, that title is worth fifteen dollars. There it Man. is. This is this is a Nike. This is a Nike kind of transaction. <laughs> like that in the future, you make a billion dollars yeah, off a correct. golden road. <laughs> this is documented too. Is it? <laughs> your your word. I got it. It hold, all the internet knows. They know. All right, so we're getting the barrel roll here. Trying to get a little bit extra range from Luke. I'm guessing. I wonder what Luke did here. I'm instantly curious. Maybe the 4K? He's trying to block the 4K. Maybe? 
Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. Did he just one straight to victory? Go, Luke. Oh, yeah, and then Seabor doing a two. He said, don't let – Mux is <laughs> – I'm not going to say. I'm not going to read that out loud. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> 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 I think Seabor might be going for a block here. I think Luke might be able to do a two bank behind uh, Bone Arm and get a really good shot on him. <laughs> you know, everybody in the chat went, Who? <laughs> now you trolling for real. Dace Bone Arm. He's so good, though. He's terrible. <laughs> the loophole. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree. That that is uh, that is pretty next level there. Strong barrel roll here by Sevor. Bone saw. <laughs> All right, not the not official tallies. Oh wow, our numbers were our way numbers off. were were at way off. Well, I mean, offish. May I read them? That's what I do best. Do it. The unofficial faction tallies for today's event. This oh. is from a judge rather than the unofficial tally we had earlier, but it's still not, not official. official. This is more no. official, but not official. Right. Okay. So, Imperial, 41, Republic, 21, Scum, 15, Rebel, 15, First Order, 11, Separatist, 9, Resistance, 7. I guess I picked the correct faction for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, man, Resistance is low. Super low. No one wants to fly as the good guys. Hit crit, so he did get the block. He did, rough. Hit, hit, crit going into Luke. Spend one force for Luke. Yep, hit crit still coming Shields in though. Crit. Luke is in dire straits, not getting a shot here. Fuel leak. That was a nice shot by Dace there. Did I? I think I just said Paylob. You did. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Got Stop it! it. That's not oh, your no, fault. No, that's minus five. <laughs> <laughs> now you owe, I, now no, I, you owe me five dollars. <laughs> I only paid you ten dollars for that. <laughs> ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Range three from green. Two more. Uh, spend a force. I'm twenty-four minutes left. Jerry running out of time. Luke's at half. I bel I hate to call a game. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's. But this game feels. It feels like the, the, feels the, the book the, is closing. Remember we talk about um, inevitability? Yep. You know, inevitability is the player that is, you know, ahead is leaning towards winning. I would say Mike has some very high inevitability at this current moment. Uh, Isofane asking for an official ruling on Leia Kovanel with R4. Uh, with R4? With R four, I um, think the, I think the ruling, uh, uh, you know, I R, don't even know. R four with Kova and Leia. R four changes the actual dial, right? Like but the Leia color, does not. The the color of your dial by using the R four upgrade is changed. That is a effect that occurs start of the game. Um, I think that's how they're ruling it today. I'll double check. We, we can ask the judge in between rounds. I want to do a quick shout out here to people who become patrons during our casts. So, uh, shout out to Filippo. Correct, Isofane. Sorry. Matthew, David, Lex, and Fallen707. Thank you guys so much. You know, there's five of you. All five of you are going to get an Anakin Skywalker. I'm not even going to worry about raffling it off. All five of them. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, all five of them. I have enough. You should give them one of these Trade Federation drones, too. I can't do that. You can't? No. Okay. Why would you call me out like that? I'm not calling you out. Yeah. I, I give him a misprinted 
Trade Federation oh. drone? Listen, there are lots of things that you could do. You're doing the right thing. I'm saying you should do the wrong thing and send everyone stickers. I don't want to send them stickers. Little, two, agility, them. little <laughs> two agility stickers. Put this over your car. <laughs> the memes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, f I want to be able to commentate on the game. And so if I were Mike, one forward here. Yeah, Torkoal has taken very little damage, so you just you continue using the back. Here. Um, hard one just to keep arc? Yes, hard one. And the fastest well, bank I you have? I think their two banks are blue, so I would do a two bank blue this way. Yeah, Fallen 707, no problem. I got you, fam. Thank you so much for your support. I want to make sure we take care of our patrons. Um, I believe Luke tried to do a 4K that turn, and that's why he's stressed. Yeah, exactly. And so if I'm Luke, So that, I, that barrel roll that Mike, we were kind of like, I don't know. Yeah, it worked out. Um, maybe a one bank for Luke. That way you maybe try and guarantee a shot on something if you can. It's tough. This is all very tough for, for Jerry. Just want to look at the Kyrax dial here really quickly. Two or three forward, two bank. Who ends up with the three forward? Just yeah. trying, to, trying to be as close as possible. Yeah, that maybe he just takes a target lock here. I forgot that that three forward was blue for them. One bank's good for Mux. Oh, Raja, I guess maybe maybe your name didn't pop up in my notifications. I'll, I'll try to update it again. People asking about patron swag. So uh, Patreon, patrons, I send out stuff quarterly. It's just more fiscally responsible. And time responsible to do things quarterly. 4K there from the Kyrax making the box. That, the kill box. Get in the box. Get in the box. Death box. Yep, and there's the hard one. Just getting it around as fast I as possible. I was almost right on everything. Almost. I forgot the Kyrax didn't have a three. I got that right. You did. I did. Pound it, baby. Yeah. Even though I did have to look it up and say, oh, well, that's the best one. Hmm. Oh, my God. That's from the St. Louis guys. That's funny. The one bank. Yes. Solid. Use the bank, Luke. I mean, he's still in a world of trouble. However, you know, he's still in a world of trouble. There's no initiative killing here. He's going to get muxed. He's going to get muxed. Correct. Mux should have been the primary target in this. Maze Rim, that's awesome. He's a zero. This could be it. Action was target lock. Jam off the lock. Oh, St. Louis Blues. Sorry, not the Flyers. My bad. I don't hockey, man. Comment, comment, comment. Yep. Mike whiffs there with Torkel. Uh, no, with Seavor. Seavor, excuse me. Yeah, because he, he had a focus. I don't understand. What, what's so hard about getting a name right, Dion? <laughs> how, how hard could it be? They're like whispering by the uh, table. Oh, That's three hits coming in. Ooh, That's double it. blanks. That's it. It's going to do it. And that is the, That's game. the game. That's the game. Congratulations. Congratulations to Mike Doyle. Doyle. All right, Mike look. Doyle rules. That's Mike right. Doyle rules. <laughs> Mike Doyle rules. Mike Doyle rules. Doyle rules. Mike, uh, when you watch this, you can purchase that track on i. I'm just kidding. Yes, you can on iTunes coming that's soon. A, that's a Golden Road production. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have 
we gave him a few extra minutes. What what you have better eyes than I do? Does that say fifteen? Fifteen ten? Yeah, that blue light is terrible. For I timer. also have incredibly bad eyesight now because I stare at screens all day, and I need glasses. Actually, let me borrow your glasses real quick. Uh, my glasses. You it's, might make your vision worse with mine. Fine. Really bad. Whoa! I told you. Oh, my goodness. Your vision is worse than, like, an old lady. Oh, yeah, man. Or this, an old man. This, I don't discriminate. This is... <laughs> This is that meningitis eyesight, man. That's real rough, dude. Yeah, instead wow. of instead of dying, I got bad eyesight. I, I guess I'll take that's it. fair. I'll I guess take that's it. That's fair. I'm I'm good. I'm good right now. So, uh, you know what time it is? It rhymes with bag time, or hag time, or shag time. It's swag time. Oh, swag time! I was like, where are you going with this? It's giveaway <laughs> time. Oh, I guess giveaways. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I know what I was doing. It works. It works. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, your hair looks fine. It's, it's I didn't know what was happening. Look at this. Look at all this hair. Well, you see, you're doing, see, you're doing that thing. I mean, this is just the truth. You're doing that thing that like white white guys can do, mm -hmm. where it's like your hair is you have like you have you got good hair. I right? got some good it's, hair. It's not flat hair. No. But you can do this thing where you just kind of like but tossle you know what, it, and you're you know like, what oh, I'm I can't good. do. Not burn in the sun. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so, there's that. That's very true. Dion, oh, we'll be giving away. We're giving away. Oh, uh, uh. So let's let's start by here. The St. Louis Blues, okay. So this is the group out of St. Louis, uh, the Arch mm -hmm. Alliance, mm -hmm. hooked nice, us up nice. with these heroic resistance cards because they won. Uh, so if you hockey, you might like this. Hockey's cool. Yeah. So that's gonna be the first thing we give away. Now we gotta talk about how how do you actually get a part of the giveaways? You comment in the chat one time. Yeah, and we, at least at least, and we will roll a magic name thing. And if you are a patron, you get more names in the magic name. If thing. If you're a subscriber, not sorry. A if you're a subscriber, you get more names in the magic name thing. Mm -hmm. And just put put some. Give me some gunboats. Yeah, gunboats. We got gunboats. We got crits. We got some moist BB8. <laughs> Somebody had that. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know where they got that. I don't know where they got that emoji. That's not an official <laughs> Gold Squadron channel emoji. It is not there. So comment, and someone's going to win. All right, winner. Press that button. Is. Go. It's McCrea, M-C-R-H-E-A. Well done. You've won the Blues Heroic card from St. Louis. That's right. Now type exclamation point win in the chat. That's Not, right. That's W-I-N. Uh, there will be a link there to a Google form. Fill it out. If you don't fill it out right, you don't get your stuff. You don't get anything. Because I'm not. Listen. Because, I, by the way, these items are shipping after the world tour. Okay? After the world tour. So it's going to be like a month and a half. That's a minute. Okay. But, so, but you'll forget, and then you'll get a nice little something, something in the mail. Correct. It'll be, it'll be oh, 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 look oh. at this surprise. Now, that means, though, by the time I get to that point, this is going to be like hundreds of items. Over 100 items. So if your address is not right, I don't have the time. Ooh. Nice. I don't have the time to deal. So make sure you get it right. Yep. What we got here? All righty. Let's, uh, let's do how we do. We got that. Let's give away. Here's this box. That's what I was looking for. You know what? Let's play some F for, for, oh, oh, F for respects. Pay our respects. Pay our respects to Wedge. Wedge in here. We'll cover up e the eating Ryan. Wedge until is a Star Wars celebration exclusive, folks. Dion, how did you get so many of these? Don't ask questions. Just take them. <laughs> have to pay respects, please. All right. Yes, here we go. Three, two, one. Roll it. And our winner is Jeff Wilder. I know that guy. I know that guy. He's a cool guy. Jeff Wilder, you have won the Wedge Antilles. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Next, we have from Onyx Squadron, down under, Dutch Vander. Onyx Squadron, Dutch Vander. Ooh. Now, it's important to remember what you win because that's part of the form, guys. Okay? So, don't forget. Don't be like, a card. There's people who do that, like, a card. I send you nothing. That's what, you a card? You get no things. No, the exact oh, item. Also, don't tell me, uh, like, the second item in the third round. No. You think we don't, he's I'm not looking back at that. He doesn't have 14 days to watch things on repeat. <laughs> No one does, except for me. That's right. Because I sleep alone. 
Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? I didn't recognize you in your uh, in your coat, in your beard. No, it was the shirt. Oh, yeah. Hanger 19. All right, press uh, that button. Three, two, one, go. The winner is Sam Spoon. Not Jacob Spoon. Sam Spoon. That's right. Stream, how you doing? Hey, it's Look Matt Carey. Guy. Matt Carey. Right. That's Matt Carey's evil evil twin, oh, though. Right here. That's right. Now, before we continue with our giveaways, I do have to say shout out to District Foundry, the sponsor of our giveaway section. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are wondering, Ken is doing significantly better. I know you guys may, may or may yeah. not know he had a stroke. That's pretty rough. Uh, and he's he's here playing today. That's awesome. Having a great time. Really cool. And uh, shout out to District Foundry. Use coupon code GenCon19 for 15% off the District Foundry shop. They got stuff like this. Sam Spoon, you won a Dutch Vander, by the way. Make sure ooh, you put that in the ooh, form. Hashtag ooh, win. Ooh, ooh. So we're going to be giving this away on Sunday for the final. So it has to wait, but I got to show it off because it's super cool. So this is a, a, a tournament tray solution. You can customize whatever you want on here. You can get anything except for, like, Gold Squadron podcast because these are special. Maybe, like, Ryan could get Fly Better, but you couldn't get Fly Better. But actually, I asked, I asked Ken, it's like, if somebody has a vector drawing of, like, their face, like, black and white, could you do it? And he said, yes. So... Just saying. Just saying. All right. I have a vector of Travis the Johnson Johnson. Should I send that in? <laughs> Gen Con, Gen Con. 19. I'll, 19. Go, I'll split it with you. Well, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I have Patreon money. All righty. So um, this is a, a tray for your ships. And they. if you look at that, it has little different levels in there so that you can fit. There we go. You can fit small, medium, and large base ships. Hey, Dion, look at this small base I have. Oh, look at that small What would base. happen if I just put it? Look at that. Oh! Oh, oh it's so oh, good. Man, wow, that's so oh, crazy. Oh, look tournament. at this. Oh, whoa, it's shades of earthquake. <laughs> Nothing's happening because it fits so nice. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Some other cool stuff we got going on. We got the template tray. Nice and small size for those tight tournaments. And... A box to put tokens and cards and things. Whoa, look at this extra card I have, Dion. I got a card here that, that I have no use for at the moment, so I'm going to put it in this tray. Whoa, look at that. fits. fits. I can leave it there. 100% guaranteed. 100% guaranteed. Cards. The, the, the holds that card in there. <laughs> Just so nice. District Foundry for all of your needs. I don't know why... We just don't run one of those channels where they sell things. We have, like, a phone number on the bottom, and it's, like, our next item is a Voss that spray paints your house. For you, while you sleep. While you sleep, and it's a, but you can also put it on your mantle, and it holds your grandmother's ashes. Only 13 available. If you call now, though, we'll also give you a sponge set for free. That's a $300 value. Absolutely free. Call now. Call now. Eight five five six two. Batman symbol exclamation point. Six left. All right. Next card. Here we go. This is an Epsilon Squadron Cadet. Epsilon Squadron Cadet. That's Three, what we got. Two one. This going to Thrawn eight. I dig the name. Thrawn eight. Got it. Not Thrawn nine. Eight. So there we go. And now we have a paper copy of our Anakin Skywalker. That's a good one. I like the paper one, man. That I is real too. nice. I do, too. That's man. a very pretty item. And, you know, he's the chosen one. So chosen one card. Three, two, one, go. Click the right button, Dio. I, Donnie. I, D. Oh, no. Ib, Don. Ib, Ib Donnie. Donnie. Ib, Donnie. Ib, Donnie. Ib, Donnie. Talk more, win more. You got it. <laughs> Exclamation point win. You did it. Absolutely. So um, we're going to go ahead and stop giveaways for no, now. No, we're not. We're going to do one more. We're going to do one more. Only because I said so. Okay, because he said so, we're going to give away a blue, there it is. blue screen pilot. I did this for you guys. Blue screen pilot, one more thing. Dion wanted to stop it. Goodwill from the community. That's what I'm doing. Look at this. Blue <laughs> three, screen pilot. Three, two, one, go. Tora five eight six six six. Boom. And now Dion's got to go. He and gave now, me the eyes. That's, he gave me the eyes. See, the problem is that every time you do that, you're just making shipping more expensive for me. Yeah, but now you can do one less next round. I'm not going to remember how many I did this round. I'm just, I'm just doing it until it feels good. Well, it felt good to me. <laughs> <laughs> it felt good to me then. Fair. 
Fair. Fair. Okay, so next round, the clock says there's five and change. They've been needing about 10-ish minutes in between. You want to call it 15? I would say probably 20. 20? 20. That's a generous amount. So 20 minutes from now is 5.55. 5.55. That's three fives. I like that. I planned that. It feels good. It does feel good. Boop, 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 boop. boop. It does feel good. Boop, boop, boop. All right, guys. We'll be back around 5.55. We Stay will. Stay close. Stay tuned. Again, hit up District Foundry Gen Con 19. Also, Curl District Park Creatives. District Foundry, Curl Park Creatives. Gen Con 19. Gen Con 19. Bye. Bye. Thank you.